Hi, I'm Rob from Freedom House's Internet Freedom Team, and I'm here to give you a tutorial on how to install and use Hotspot Shield. Okay, so a few things about Hotspot Shield before we get started. Hotspot Shield encrypts your web session using HTTPS. It also hides your IP address and helps you get around internet censorship and firewalls. And the great thing about Hotspot Shield is that it works on a wired connection, but it also works on a wireless connection. So if you find yourself accessing the internet from, say, an internet cafe or a coffee shop where you're getting wireless access, you can rest assured that your information is protected. So with that in mind, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get the software. So to do that, you're going to open up your preferred web browser. I'm using Mozilla's Firefox and go to www.hotspotshield.com. On the main website for hotspotshield.com, you can look at a brief overview of the program, and there's a big download the latest version button here. Now, Hotspot Shield works with both Windows and Mac computers, and depending on what you're using to get to the website, it'll give you a different download version depending on your computer. So what you're going to do is click download the latest version. I've already downloaded the software, so I'm not going to do this, but you just click it, download it, remember where you saved it, and then go to it. So I'm going to X this out. I'm going to go find my installation, downloads, hotspot shield, and then double click the icon. Now I'm using Windows Vista right now to install this, so I have the Vista version of the software. Click Run, Continue, and then choose my language from the drop-down menu. I'm going to go with English, and this is a pretty standard installation wizard. Click Next, Agree to the Terms and Services, click Next. It's going to ask me if I want to install the toolbar. I don't want the toolbar, so I'm going to uncheck the box, click Next. And then I don't want any of these settings, but you might, so take a look at them. But what you do want to leave is the Fix Page Not Found Errors box. And then you want to leave that checked, and then click Next. I'm going to let it install to the default directory, and then let that install. It should only take a moment. Okay, completed. Now once it says completed, you just click Next again. Now it gives you the option to launch Hotspot Shield immediately. I'm going to launch it manually, so I'm going to uncheck the box, click Finish, close this out, and over here is the icon for Hotspot Shield. I'm going to double click that, and it should open up a web browser, and it will start activating the service. Now while this is getting ready to uh, connect to the service, I'll just show you the icon down here in the, uh, the taskbar. And this is the Hotspot Shield icon. When it's yellow, that means it's trying to connect to the service. When, it re when it's red, that means it's disconnected or off. And when it's green, as we'll see later, that means it's connected or on. Now you can right click the icon and get a bunch of options here. You can change the language, you can turn the service off and on, and you can also just exit it completely. So all we have to do right now is wait for it to connect. Okay, it's authenticating, which means it's close to connecting. Once it's connected, you'll see connected in green, and then it will take you to the Anchor Free web page, um, and that's all there will be to it. So connected in green, we go to the. It'll automatically redirect us to Anchor Free. And really, you don't have to wait for this to load. As soon as it says connected, and you can see the icon down here is in green, um, you know that your IP address and your information is protected no matter whether you're on a wired connection or a wireless connection. And that's pretty much all there is to connecting to the service. And um, I hope this tutorial has been of some help.